Hello everyone and welcome to this video on the new Ableton 12.2 update. It's only in beta but I had to do a video on it as it's got some awesome new features. So what are the new features of 12.2? First is bounce in place or bounce to new track. It's been requested for over a decade so it's fantastic that they finally updated it. Just select the portion of what you want to bounce and then select either of these options and you're away. Next new feature is custom icons for your folders and places. Again, a very welcome feature. Previously, icons looked all very similar. Now just right click on a folder or a place that you want to change and choose the new icon that you like. There are more new features in 12.2, but the main reason for this video is the awesome new updated auto filter. Okay, let's check it out. First up, they've finally added a dry wet knob. This has been heavily requested for many years and I'm so glad they've included it. They've also added a much welcomed real-time spectrum analyzer. They've also updated the LFO modulation area with ramp up, ramp down, and wander LFO shapes. There's also a drive knob, and they've also updated the filter circuits here. So the best part is the new filter types, and I actually made an awesome new rack especially for this video, which will be available for all our Patreons when 12.2 is officially released. So these first five filter types have been in auto filter since Ableton 11. Those being low pass, high pass, band pass, notch filter, and morph filter. So the first new filter type is DJ filter. This is an awesome new filter that gives you the ability to control both low pass and high pass filters with one knob. Let's check it out. I gotta say, I'm loving the sound of that. Okay, next new filter type is the comb filter, another welcome addition. This gives a very cool flange style effect. Then there's resampling, which is basically a degrading bit crushing styled effect. Next is notch and LP, meaning low pass, and this is simply two filter types combined into one circuit. And finally, a vowel filter. This one I really love. This pitch dial shapes the sound to resemble a human voice, emphasizing formance, giving a Daft Punk vibe. That is so good, I love it. Okay, one final thing. If you like filtering tricks, I've added a bunch of cool presets into the rack, all controlled by LFO and the envelope. Let's give them a listen. That's it. Thanks for watching. By the way, if you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about disco house and house music production and want to support us so we can make more videos like this, then please consider joining our Patreon and becoming part of that community. You'll get a whole bunch of fantastic assets including French and disco house Ableton files, also Ableton effects racks for your productions, and a house music sample pack, and exclusive access to our plugins database for the best plugins for you to use. Thanks so much. We'll see you on the next video.